God. Come here. Hey, Pop. Hey. Hey. What do we do? I don't know. Do you want to come in the car? Do you want, can we give her something to eat at least? This is so sad. Come on. Come in the car. Come on. Come on, Pooch. You're so cute. Hey, 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 where are you going? All right, so I guess now we're just gonna try to find an animal shelter. Okay, so here's the deal. She's adorable. She's very thin, like she needs help, obviously. She looks like she was- She had puppies. Yeah, she looks like she recently had puppies as well. Apparently in the area uh, that we're in right now, it's like Western New Mexico, so there's a lot of reservations and there's tons of stray dogs all over the place. We're trying to find like a shelter to take her to, but the thing is with the shelters around this area, they're probably like very full and we're trying to find one that won't just, you know, put her down. We definitely can't just leave her here because it's, she's on the side of I-40, which is one of the busiest highways. I don't, I don't know what to do. Okay, here's what we're thinking after probably 25 minutes of sitting here thinking about what to do. We can't leave her on the side of I-40 because she'll get hit. And we don't want to take her to any of the shelters around the area because we're in the Navajo reservation right now and there's like, tons and tons of stray dogs and they don't have any room for them so they just euthanize them but we're still heading west into arizona and we're going to be in flagstaff and we found some shelters that might take her in eastern slash central arizona so i think we're gonna keep her for the night at least <laughs> until we find a better place for her right now we're going to the family dollar to Continue get her some food i don't think she's ever been in a moving car so this is going to be interesting Hey, 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 it's okay, it's okay. It's okay. <laughs> she doesn't like the box. Okay guys, so we're at the campground. We're in Cibola National Forest. We just drove into the middle of the forest. So she's kind of relaxing. I think she's warming up to us a little. Here's a quick um, doggy haul. We got her three cans of some delicious Mighty Dog <laughs> Purina <laughs> canned food. We got her some little treats. She loves, oh. <laughs> and then this is a surprise for later, so don't tell her. But I got her this rib bone from a cow. And we got her some balls. I don't think she knows what these are or is gonna wanna fetch, but yeah. who knows? All right, guys, we're cooking up some lunch slash dinner. It's like 3.30, I don't know. We have a pretty good campsite. You know, we got the camping chairs out. We got the fire pit. We have the dog tied up. She's taking a nap. She's hiding underneath the car. <laughs> We're starting to realize how much work it takes to take care of this dog, especially <laughs> since it's a stray and she has no idea like what anything is. Good morning, ladies and gentlemen. It was pretty cold last night. I think it got down into like high 30s. I don't know, because we woke up this morning and it's like 45, but we're getting ready to make some breakfast. Hello guys, welcome to Cooking with Ben and Rose, featuring Stray Dog. Today we're gonna whip up some breakfast here at this campsite. Um, I think we're gonna make some vegan pancakes. If you're following along with us, let's do some stretches first. Good, very good. Next we're gonna gather the materials to make said pancakes. First you'll need a pan to cook the pancakes. Cutting board, once again, make sure it's durable. Yep, very durable. Next you're gonna need something so that the pancakes don't stick to the pan. We have some Pam Superior No Stick Cooking Spray, Olive Oil, Extra Virgin, No Artificial Flavors. You get the point. Next. You'll need a bowl to put the batter in and like mix it and stuff. You will also need some measuring cups. And last but not least, you will need a uh, stove. We have a butane, butane gas range. I cannot speak. As for the ingredients, we have pancake and waffle mix, banana, and granola. Step one, open pancake mix. Step two, uh, me measure, measure, yeah, measure, that sounds right. Now we're gonna, duh, duh. Mix. So we mixed the pancake mix, and now we're gonna prepare our toppings, which is banana slices and chocolate chips. All right, guys, it's the cooking portion of this cooking portion. All right, so let's turn this puppy on. First, we gotta lube up the surface. 
Look at this delicious. Chunky. It is a little bit chunky. Pretty mediocre, but once we add the toppings, it'll be delish. The thing about pancakes, you have to give them words of encouragement, so. You're so beautiful. Everything about you, your little lumps, your pasty white texture. <sighs> and now we compliment her more with some banan. Not too much banan, you gotta spread them out. And then of course we have the dark chocolate mini chips. Oh, look at that. <gasps> Should I get fancy with it? Ooh. Ooh, ooh. Drip. Oh, God. <gasps> and now, for the best part of cooking, when you're done and you can eat it. Cheers. Not bad. Hey, that's my seat. Here we go. We made it to Petrified Forest National Park. Um, I have to poop. Round the sky we shapes forever. Let's meet some new friends. God, really? The first time she poops, of course, it's when we have to clean it up properly. And it's big poop. How did you produce that? That looks like human. <laughs> I start of invasions of things that I will never imagine. Phrases like freak. Alright, we're done with that little hike. I'm a little bit sweaty. We still have this big bag of dog poop because there's no garbage conveniently. So now we're leaving Petrified Forest National Park because it really wasn't too exciting. Mmm, yummy, Don't yummy. Show it. Mm, look at that. Ben, please! Ugh. Oh god. <laughs> Ew! We got a few more things for the dog, you know. Flea collar, some more food. But now we're headed to the campsite. We're gonna try to find somewhere to fill up our water because we have like one gallon left of drinking water. But if we wanna cook something tonight, then obviously we're gonna use more than that. What's good? We made it to the campsite, set it up. We got the doggo chilling, begging for food as, as usual. All right, folks. It's time to uh, bathe this yes. filthy animal. In case we're falling, right? I don't think she hates it, to be honest. She's just so shy and weird that like we wouldn't know. Hey Rose, you want to inform the viewers what's going on today? Puppy is going to get shots at the vet. We spent the past few days trying to figure out what would be the best thing to do. I think through those few days, we got a little bit more attached to her. So with that being said, we're taking her to the vet to get her shots today. <laughs> hey guys, um, so she officially has her shots. Hey, she wants more treats, look at her. The vet said she's one to two years old. Um, she's definitely had puppies before, but besides that, there's really no issues with her, which is fantastic. Probably gonna keep her for the next month at least until we find a better home for her. We named her Nava because we found her in the Navajo reservation. Pretty creative, if you ask me. The reservations down here in the Southwest uh, have a big problem when it comes to stray dogs. We looked it up and there's over like 200,000 stray dogs estimated in the area. So that being said, there's a big problem with stray dogs running around, them getting hit by cars. None of them get spayed or neutered, so they just multiply. So each year the problem gets worse and worse. So if you guys wanna learn more and help out more puppies like Nava and other strays in the reservation, we will link it down below. Besides that, hope you guys enjoyed. Hope you like Nava. Yay! Hey! <gasps> if you guys did enjoy the video, give it a big pause up mm, for Nava. Good one. There will definitely be more of her on the channel, so stay tuned for that. Subscribe if you're new to the adventure. Thanks again for watching. Love you all so much. And as Barack Obama once said, have a good day. Thank you.